Hi, my name is Jenny with HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how to adjust the valves on a 22R Toyota 4-cylinder engine. The truck used in this video is a 1989 Toyota 4-wheel drive equipped with a fuel-injected 22R engine. Before you start working on your truck, disconnect the negative battery cable for safety and make sure that the parking brake is applied. Detach the PCV valve from the valve cover as shown in the image. Unbolt the brackets located on top of the valve cover without disconnecting any of the vacuum hoses and flip it over the intake flenum. Remove the four nuts and washers that secure the valve cover in place. Remove the four rubber grommets and remove the valve cover. There are a few ways to adjust the valves. One is to set the number one cylinder in compression stroke and adjust both intake and exhaust valves at the same time considering that both valves are in their closed position. Moving the cylinder number two followed by three and four. Another way to adjust all the intake valves followed by adjusting all the exhaust valves. The way we did it as you can see in the picture, we made sure that the opposite valve was open. In the picture, the intake valve is shown open. To be sure that the valves we are adjusting, which is the exhaust valve shown in the image, is completely closed. After we adjusted the exhaust valve, we rotated the engine until the exhaust valve was in the open position to adjust the intake valve. We did this on all four cylinders. To adjust each valve, loosen the nut. Adjust the lash with a flat screwdriver, as shown in the picture with the correct gauge inserted between the valve and the rocker arm. Once the correct lash is set, tighten the nut. Okay. Toyota recommends adjusting the intake valves ten thousandths of an inch and the exhaust valves to twelve thousandths of an inch with a cold engine. Once you're done adjusting all the valves, replace the old valve cover gasket with the new one. Replace the front and rear valve cover seals with the new ones provided with the valve cover gasket. Apply a small coat of silicone to the edges of the seals to make sure that there will be no oil leaks. Install the valve cover. Install the new rubber grommets. Install the remaining components in the reverse order they were removed. Make sure that all the nuts and bolts are properly tightened. Connect the negative battery cable back on and start the engine. If you did everything correctly, the truck should run smoothly. You may be able to hear the valve train when the engine is cold. As the engine warms up, the sound should disappear. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every week. And don't forget to visit our online store. We have great deals on tools, auto accessories, home improvement products, and so much more. See you next time.